Hello, welcome to this video. Today we'll be talking about crystal shapes and their uses and their meanings. And while we're talking crystal shapes, I'll simultaneously be sending you distance, energy balancing, and healing. So let's activate that portion now. If you are open and willing to receive this energy, close your eyes with me momentarily. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. And just state, I am open to receive. That is enough to ignite this transition of universal life force energy and universal love. I am that I am. And although throughout the video, I may not be having my hands right here towards you, I'm still emanating energy balancing and healing frequency from my entire being. So just know that it is still coming your way. The first shape we will discuss is points. And although this is a clear quartz point, this can go for any crystal point that you have. And we're specifically talking single terminated points, meaning there's just one point and the other end may be kind of raw looking or flat. And this can be again for more man-made points or natural points. Either way, the information still, still fits. So with a point, this means the energy is coming most intensely right off the point, right off the apex. This means we can direct the energy really easily. So when I'm in a session and I want to extract energy from a chakra point, I can place the non-pointy end to the chakra point and essentially pull out energy, direct it out from the point. But when I want to direct more energy in, like this, an influx of life force energy. I just take the point and direct it where it needs to go. Energy flows where the point goes. The next shape we'll talk about is spheres. And since there is no point on a sphere, the energy just emanates equally in all directions. This one is a fluorite sphere, but again, the um, type of stone when it comes to shape is irrelevant because no matter what type of sphere you have, the energy is flowing in all directions. So these are just so good to put in like the middle of a room and have the, em the energy emanate all throughout 
your room. So fluorite's really great for cultivating focus and clarity. A lot of people find it really grounding as well. This guy away for now. Just pausing to send you a little bit more light and love. Talk about hearts. Hearts do exactly what you think they would. They extend beautiful, loving energy. So they are great for any chakra, not just the heart that you want to extend a little love towards. This is an orange selenite heart. So this is a really great cleanser as well. Now hearts do have a little bit of a point. So you can essentially direct loving energy that way. So I might hold it like this if I wanted to infuse your energy with a lot of love, which I do. I want to send you so much universal love in this moment that it is undeniable. Can you feel the loving energy? I sure hope you can. The very last shape we'll talk about for today is Merkaba or Merkaba or Metatron's cube. <laughs> All referring to the same shape. So I have two variations right here. This is green adventuring. And this is a tiny tiger's eye Merkaba. So these shapes can be used as an excellent vehicle for ascension. So by meditating with or placing the Merkaba over chakras, you can essentially really quickly and easily raise the energy centers vibration. like to just meditate with one either in my hand or at the base of my spine so the energy just flows all the way up through my system. I said just such a great meditation tool 
lifter, raiser of energy, overall healing, protection as well. This should be in every crystal lover, spiritual person's toolkit to have. So those are the crystal shapes I have for you today. But what crystal shapes do you want to know about next? There are so many shapes, whether they are man-made or natural, all have really excellent uses. And they are such wonderful tools to have around. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, whenever you are watching this. Thank you, thank you so much for being here.